Zion Missionary Baptist Church of Tampa, Florida Live Watch Party. We are the church that is changing the world through the love of Christ, one soul at a time. Are you ready? Get set. Let's worship. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Is there anybody here who's happy to be in the house of the Lord? Just one more time. If you're watching in your living room or your bedroom, won't you share this service and invite someone to New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, where we are the church that's looking to change the world through the love of Christ, one soul at a time. Oh, 
Are there any testimonies in the house this morning? I said, are there any testimonies in the house this morning? Anybody made it through 2020, you have a testimony. Anybody who overcame COVID, you have a testimony. But here's one better. Anybody who saved, you have a testimony. Oh, come on, New Mount Zion. I know you can do better than that. Is there anybody who's been washed and redeemed in the blood of the Lamb? Our scripture reading this morning will be coming from Romans chapter 8, starting at verse 24. And it says, for in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he's, he who searches hearts knows what is in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose, let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you now for this second Sunday of a new year, oh God. We thank you for the love that you've given us. We thank you for the patience that you've had with us. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Right now, oh God, as we prepare to worship you in spirit and in truth, we pray that you would just continue to have your way, oh God. We realize that things may not be the way we want them to, but if we continue to put our faith and trust in you, you're gonna work it out for us. So right now, oh God, we're standing at your word. We're standing on your word. We're standing on your promises, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you never left us. We thank you that you will never leave us. We thank you for your sacrifice, oh God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. But most importantly, oh God, you loved us, so we want to love you. We want to live for you right now, here this day. Lord, help us not to be so caught up in what's going on in the world, because we know that you hold the future, and life is worth the living, because you live, oh God. We're going to praise your name because you live, oh God. We're going to spread your word because you live, oh God. We thank you for the treasure that you've placed in earthen vessels. We thank you for the sacrifice that you made. Even when we fall short of your glory, oh God, there you are to pick us up. Have mercy on us. Forgive us right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anybody been through anything in 2020? Anybody still going through anything in 2021? <laughs> Praise the Lord, but no matter what it is, it's going to work out for you good. Oh, 
that again.
to see you. He's working it out. He's working it out. Yes, he is. He's working it out. For my good. For my good. He's working it out. Yes, he is. Yes, he's working it out. Yes, he is. He's working it out. He's working it out. Yes, he is. He's working it out. As long as he You got to tell yourself that. So you need to sing it with us. As long as he's in control. I know. That's what you have to tell yourself every time you're going through something. As long. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I know. As long. Have been through anything? He is yes, sir. in control. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We don't have to worry. Yes, sir. We don't have to fear. Yes, sir. As long as he is yes, sir. in control. Yes, sir. And I come to tell you this morning that God is still in control. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is able. Good morning, New Mount Zion. We are so very glad and so blessed to be able to be here today. But we realize that without him on our side, we know not where we would be. Yes, sir. And I speak to all men, women, and boys this morning, even those that are yes, watching sir. us virtually. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And I hope that somebody realize that God is in control. Regardless of what's going on in our lives, regardless of everything that seems to be uh, around us and Thank hindering us and, and holding us down, God is still in control. You simply have to know and believe that he is and always will be. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 If you have your Bibles, we're not going to prolong the time this morning. 
If you would turn with me to the book of Romans. And I'm going to read into your hearing verses 1 through 6. Our scripture verse will be coming from verse 4, but I think it's important for us to be able to hear this. Romans 15, beginning at verse 1. We then, who are strong, ought to bear with the scruples of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbors for his good, leading to edification. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproach of those who reproach you fell on me. And I was scripture verse. For whatever things were written before was written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. If I was to use for theme this morning, subject I should say, that subject will be hope. And for our theme, hope in times of uncertainty. Hope in times of uncertainty. Hmm. There was this song that it's him, I should say, that I always love. Okay. I just want to glyph up a couple of verses <coughs> this morning. Uh, I may right. sin great. How sweet the sound. That say oh, a rich like, like me, I once was, was long, but now, now I'm found. Uh, was blind, but but now now I see. I I can see. Oh, yeah, I can see. For it was grace, grace that brought me, brought me this. This far mm, mm, mm. was grace that tore my my heart my heart to fear and grace my my fears really. How precious is that, that grace up here. The hour I, I first, first believe. Can you praise God? Praise God. Praise God.
come before you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will help me to be able to stand and deliver your word. Deliver your word with clarity. Deliver your word with understanding. Deliver your word with strength. That somebody might know that, that you are God. And that in spite of everything that is going on in this day and time, we still have hope. And now let the words in my mouth, and the meditation of my heart, be accepted in your sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Hope in time of uncertainty. Some years ago, there was a submarine, an Eskimo submarine that was rammed by a ship off the coast of Massachusetts. It began to sink, and immediately there was rescue effort that was put in place, but ultimately they failed. One of the deep sea divers who was down trying to help rescue those on the sub thought he heard a tapping coming from inside the hub of the submarine. As he put his ear closer, he was able to be able to make out these words in Morse code. Is there any hope? Is there any hope that we may have a chance of getting out of this situation? Is there any hope that God will smile on us one more time and allow us to be able to get back to a normal way of life? Is there any hope. My brothers and my sisters, our world is experiencing some uncertain times. There have been some defining times in the history of our planet. And I believe it was in March of 2020, somewhere around the third Sunday, that we was last able to gather and worship together as one body in this sanctuary. And then a thing called the pandemic hit. It was also called COVID-19 among other names. And it turned our lives and this world upside down. Amen, can I get a witness there? You see, uh, lives was lost and business was lost, family, was lost. Even our church was reduced to worshiping virtually. Leading us to say, is there any hope? Is there any hope that our lives will return to normal? Any hope that we will be able to go about doing things as we used to? Any hope that our world will be as we remembered it. Hope is one of the most powerful forces in our universe. I believe, I believe it was Martin Luther King who said, and I quote, we must accept finite disappointments, but we must never lose infinite hope. He also said uh, we may have come on different ships but we are all in the same boat now. Yes, we are all in the same boat now. No matter whether you are brown, white, black, red, yellow, it does not make a difference. This thing called COVID-19 has grabbed us, shook us up, turned us upside down, and we are all in the same boat now. And so I submit to you now, and I would encourage us to stay faithful and strong, knowing that a Christian uh, should never lose hope. Yes, and I, I realize that sometimes, my brothers and my sisters, it, it seems that the whole world is against us, that no matter what we do, everything does not seem to turn out right. 
But as long as you know you got King Jesus on your side, everything will be made all right. For if we faint not, in due time we shall reap. Is there any hope? The Bible tells us in Romans 15, 4, that whatever things was written before was written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And so this morning we shall take a closer look at this thing called hope, that the Bible tells us that you and I can have and can rest in. Yes, yes, the first thing we need to know is how hope is defined. Well, uh, uh, hope is defined as the feeling that what is wanted can be had, or that events would turn out for the best. Uh, also, it means to look forward to with desire and reasonable confidence. Well, I come to tell you this morning that we can look for an end to this thing. I believe the Lord has grabbed our attention, that he has allowed us to know that he's not pleased with some of the things that are happening in our world today. And that he, in due time, will be able to do the things that he needs to do to set things right. Yes, yes, uh, and I come to encourage someone today uh, to continue to trust God, the same God who made heaven and earth, and that in due time, he will make everything all right. Not only can we have hope that one day this pandemic will be laid to rest, but we can be assured that God works in all aspects of our life. Uh, uh, amen. Praise God. For we, we realize that uh, somebody may have been sick and just can't seem to get well. Maybe you lost a loved one. Maybe you lost a job or, or had other difficulties in your life. And it just seemed to be one thing after another, heaped on top of each other. So I come to tell you this morning, don't give up. Hang on in there. But when the world says give up, hope whispers, try it one more time. Yes, we must learn to work with each other. We must learn to trust each other. We must learn to encourage each other. Because when we are bound together in unity, there is nothing uh, that we can't overcome. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we know this is true because as Paul writes here in the 15th chapter of Romans, verse 1 tells us, that he, and he helps us to understand that we who are strong are to bear with the scruples of the weak. Well, you see this word scruple here can be translated, better translated as weakness. You see, there is such a thing as being weak in faith. Yes, 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 being weak in faith. Pastor Roundtree taught on this in one of our earlier Bible study class. You probably don't remember it, but he did, you know. And, 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 and it seems that sometimes we lose faith because of all the things that are happening around us. But I come to tell you this morning that this is not the time to lose faith. Because, see, God is still in control. And I come to tell you, and we don't have to say, is there any hope? Because there is hope as long as he's on the throne. Yes, yes, the, 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 the diversities of the church displays Christ's power to bring together the similar people in genuine situation. But you see, as we go through doing these things, uh, Satan steps in, you know, and that's just like him. He, he's always there trying to create division and threaten us with that unity. Yes, yes, the threat to unity that Paul addressed dealt with the Mosaic laws, the offering of sacrifice in the temple, and also the dietary laws of the time. But that's, that's a sermon for another time. Here in our scripture today, Paul helps us to understand that the word of God informs believers how to endure, but it also encourages them in the process. Without the clear and certain promises of the word of God, the believer has no basis and for hope. 
but we know that God promises are true. Second Corinthians seven fourteen says, "If my people, who are called by my name, will pray and, and humble themselves and, and seek my face and, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land." Yes, yes, it's important for us to remember that hope is tied to faith. Yes, yes. In Hebrews 11 to 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And 18 times in the New Testament, hope and faith are mentioned together. Now, 1 Corinthians 13 and 13 says, And now abideth faith, hope, and love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The object of faith and hope will be fulfilled perfectly in heaven, but love is a God-like virtue that is everlasting. Amen. Amen. There is hope. My brothers and my sisters, we are living in times when there is so much hatred in our world. We have so much anger and hatred against us simply because of the color of our skin. It's bad enough that we have those who are trying to kill us every day, but we are our own worst enemy. Yeah, we can see from the, from the recent devastating events, as our young black men turn on each other, as the songs say, only love can overcome hate. And so we have this hope that love will prevail in all our situations. We have come to know that hope needs to be demonstrated. In other words, we need to see hope in action. And there are dozens of examples in the Bible of hope being demonstrated. Noah, in, in, in preparing the ark, those who laughed at him and made fun of him since it took some 600 years, but he was able to do the things that God had placed on his heart. Abraham, in his old age, having a child. And Romans 4.18 tells us that who, again, had believed that he might have become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be, and being not weak in faith, in faith, he considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about 100 years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. But in the end, we all know what happened. God is faithful. As long as we are faithful to him. <clears throat> Hope is still being demonstrated. Is being demonstrated in that grandmother or that mother who have a chance to come to church every time the church doors are open. To that friend who's been told that he has cancer but keeps his head up and looks for healing. To that wife who holds her husband's hand as he leaves this world and whisper in his ear, I'll see you soon. To that dad who's laughed at by his co-workers because he refuses to go out with the boys and have a drink because he realized that this is something that is hypocritical and against his lifestyle and denies Christ. It is being demonstrated in that grandmother who leaves a note in her Bible for her grandson, for this grandson that who has drifted far from God. And at the time of her departure, a note that points to a scripture with the heading, David, please read this. And by the way, her hope was justified because that man, that boy, is a preacher today. There is hope. And so I pose this question to you today. What does your life demonstrate? 
Can somebody see Christ in your life? How big is your hope? Is it big enough to change the way that you live? Amen. How about the way that you treat others? <laughs> Do you have hope? I'm about to leave you now. But as I leave you with this, the only real hope in this world is Jesus Christ. The same Jesus yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes, Timothy in 1-1 one, one, tells us that Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandments of God, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, which is our hope. He's our hope for today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, sir. And uh, he is our hope uh -huh. for tomorrow. Yeah. When your life mm -hmm. is in the Lord's hand. Um, maybe you can jump and maybe you can shout you can shout with joy because we know oh Lord we know that the Lord is able you see uh, there might be somebody here today. Yeah, and there might be somebody who knows that the Lord, that the Lord is able. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody, um, somebody may have this testimony. Uh, yeah. That the Lord, uh, the Lord is able. Yeah. Um, I might have some ups, uh, and I might have some downs, uh, um, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still here. Uh, um, you see, uh, um, somebody may have left, uh, uh, but you can say, uh, I'm still, I'm still here. Mm, there ought to be. There ought to be at least uh, uh, one person in this sanctuary uh, who can say that uh, no matter how bad things might be in my life right now, uh, that uh, in spite of COVID-19, uh, in spite of everything that's going on at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, we are still, still here, yeah. Mm, uh, and I, I may not have, uh, all the things that I need today, uh, uh, but I'm still, I'm still here, uh, and, uh, and I want you to know that uh, you don't know what the Lord has done for me. Yeah, yeah, yes, you don't know how He's been good to me. Yeah, uh, but I'm still. I'm still here. Uh, for as I look back uh, over my life uh, and see where the Lord has brought me from, uh, I can say that he's been, he's been, he's been, he's been good to me. Uh, uh, I should have been uh, dead a long time ago, but the Lord kept me. Yes, he did. Ain't he all right? Uh, ain't he all right? Ain't the Lord all right? Anybody here know that the Lord is all right? Uh, I'm still here, and I can testify to that fact. Yes, uh, the Lord is on my side. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? The Lord is all right. You see, uh, I have this hope in Jesus Christ uh, that everything will be all right. Uh, because, you see, I know that it was the Lord 
who took me, uh, stood me up, uh, turned me around, and placed my feet on solid ground. Uh, yes, he is, and I and I know that he would do the same for you. In spite of everything that's going on in our life, in spite of what happened to us during this time, we know that the Lord is still able. And I would encourage somebody today to be strong. Stay faithful. Because you know, we don't know when God is going to turn us loose or turn this thing you know, away from us. But one thing I do know, mm, that he's able. Mm. See, I can testify to the fact that where I am right now, the Lord brought me. That what I know right now, the Lord taught me. That who I am right now, the Lord made me. And there may be somebody here today who, who know that you may be going through the storm. And you may be going through the rain. But through it all, through it all, God has kept you. And I would encourage you to stay with the Lord. Hang in there. Because you're still here. You're still here. There's many that left. But you're still here. And you're here because of this Jesus who hung, bled, and died on you on the cross. That we might have a right to eternal life. That we might know that there is still hope. You know, somebody wanted to come to church today, but they was unable to because of the fact that COVID-19 had them sidelined. And we are so very glad that we was able to make it out this morning because we know that that same God that we just talked about will make everything all right. As a matter of fact, the Lord will make a way somehow. Like a ship that tossed and driven, battered by an angry sea. When the storms of life are raised,
relief. There's a sweet 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 relief in How many believe that the Lord will make a way? The only way you can believe that is because he's already made ways in your life. Come on, give God praise for the word of God today. Hope in uncertain times. Thank you, Minister Kimbrough, for reminding us that we can still hold on to our hope because God is still in control. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed by the word today? Amen. We're so thankful that God uses his vessels to share his word for his glory. I'm glad God didn't just call one somebody. But God is still calling and using vessels to powerfully proclaim the riches of his glory. I thank God I was able to be fed today. Amen. Amen. I got to be a church member. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm thankful that we have men that I can trust and rely on to stand in this place and preach the word of God. Hallelujah. Listen, family, we want you not just to be hearers of the word. We want you to be doers of the word. We want you to receive the truth and the power of the word of God. Jesus Christ is the word. And you cannot receive the blessings of the word without having the word in you. You got to know him, not just uh, academically, but you've got to know him intimately. You've got to know him spiritually. You've got to know him relationally. And in order to do that, you must believe what he said that he is the son of God, that he died for the sins of this world, and that God raised him from the dead on that third day. And here's the beauty. The Bible says, whosoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That means if you're old, if you're young, if you're rich, if you're poor, if you've got a criminal background history, if you had a drug dealing history, whatever you come from, doesn't matter. It matters where you're coming to. And Jesus says, come to me. All you who labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. He says, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. I'm asking today that you come to Jesus. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how bad you think your life has been. There's still hope for you. As long as there's breath in your body, you can come to Jesus. And if you come to him with the heart of sincerity and faith, he will not turn you away. So if you're out there today and you want to be saved, just confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you'll be saved. If you're already saved and you're struggling with hope, you're struggling with depression, you're struggling with disappointment, we want to pray for you today. Our God, our Father, How blessed, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Father, we just want to say thank you for loving us so much. Lord, we thank you for a grace that is undeserved. Lord, we thank you for your mercy that is new to us every morning. 
And Lord, we thank you that in the midst of despair, you've given us a hope that will never let us down. Thank you for Jesus Christ, the personification of hope and light. Thank you, oh God, that we got a reason every day to get out of our beds. We have a reason to smile. We have a reason to carry on. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much that you gave your own life on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, that through your death, through your burial, and through your resurrection, you've imparted to us the opportunity to have life everlasting. And Father, we come now celebrating those converts who have accepted you. Lord, we come to imitate what's going on in heaven right now. Lord, we're lifting up holy hands. We're opening our mouths and declaring hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you for still saving. Thank you for still being a delivering God. Thank you for being a prayer answering God. We love you, oh Father. Thank you for loving us. Keep us. Lift us. Cover us. Lead and guide us as we continue to sojourn until your return. Life has been difficult for many. Many have felt like giving up. But I ask, oh God, that you will create a clean heart and renew a right spirit. That you will revive their soul. That you will restore, heal, and deliver. Quicken them, oh God. And silence the voices of lies and deceit. That their lives are worthless. That their lives do not have value. But let the truth come ringing in the inner recesses of their hearts. That their lives are worth living. Because you live. Thank you for walking with us. Thank you for never giving up on us. We love you. And we thank you for loving us. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Let the church say amen. I made it through another, day. another day's journey. God kept me through it all. Get ready to go. Day, I just want to give y'all a moment to testify. Oh, through it all, I, I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. Anybody got a testimony? It all, that through it all, I made Another day's journey, God kept me here. Trials, I had my share of trials, but I'm still here. Sing, Pastor. Troubles, I had my share of troubles, but I'm still here. Ah. Mm -hmm. Lied on, anybody here been lied on, but you're still here. Yeah, yeah. Crying, I had my share of crying, hey, but I'm still here. Oh, through it all, I made Somebody ought to testify today. Another day's journey. Why are you here? God kept me here. Oh, 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 oh. through it all. I may be hurt, I may be sick, but I made it, I made it, I 
made it. I made it. I made it. I made it through. I made it through. I made it through. I made it. Hey, another day. getting ready to go but we thank God for the word of God that reminded us we may be battered we may be bruised but we're still here wait 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 if Whoopi Goldberg as Seely in the color purple could look at Mr and say, I may be black, I may be ugly, but I'm here. Then the believers in Jesus Christ are to be able to look the devil in the face and say, you may have sucker punched me, you may have knocked me down, but I'm... COVID didn't take me out. I made it. Cancer couldn't take you out. You made it. Diabetes didn't do it. High blood pressure couldn't do it. You're still here. Woo. You're still here. The enemy thought that I was falling down. Thought he had took me out, but I made it through. Yeah, yeah. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of His Holy Spirit, bless you, keep you, quicken you, enable you, empower you. Deliver you, transform you now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let the church say, Amen. Through it all, I made it through another day's journey. God kept me Don't forget to give through our various platforms. Do it all, I made it. Through drug addiction, through depression, through alcoholism, through your divorce, my mama died. But I'm still here. I may have come in on broken pieces, but I made it. I don't have a full tank, but I made it here on fumes. God did it. God did it. God did it. God did it.